Hello everybody and welcome to Solid Code. In this video we are going to continue with our Tetris game. In the last video we ended up here doing the collisions with the sides of the canvas but now we are going to continue with the uh, platform of the game and to put the pieces inside the platform and generate new pieces when the actual piece uh, comes to the bottom of the canvas. So let's do this. Uh, basically we need to create a platform class which is a bidimensional array who has empty boxes we just need that in order to put our pieces there so as you can see I already did it because I was making the video and the audio wasn't working so I did it here as you can see is a platform of boxes of 30 pixels uh, which are empty but we need these to put our pieces when they reach the bottom of the screen okay basically uh, another thing that i did was that generate new piece function which give us an index uh, generated randomly between zero and the length of the pieces that we have we have all these pieces i have them here in an array so this is going to give us a random number and this it's going to give us, give us a random number and we are going to create a new piece based on that random shape and we are going to put it at the middle of the width 30 pixels uh, from the top and with this color for now then we are going to change this to generate uh, random colors in order to our game can look better okay we need some things we need first of all to change the apply gravity function because this is not working as we would want it as the, as the Tetris game works so first of all I want to say that that if my piece is not colliding with the bottom of the screen uh, we want that our piece uh, is keep falling so let's see how this works okay it stays there well that's not good because we need that it stops from falling when some of the boxes goes to the bottom but we can we can see that later and uh, another thing that we want is that if the piece collides with the bottom we want to generate a new piece right so we're going to do that if and uh, where is generate the piece here and here it goes let's see if this works okay it generates a new piece that's fine but as you can see the uh, the game is not putting the pieces inside the canvas is generating new pieces but the last piece is not is not putting inside the platform that's what we are going to do well as i said i did the platform class let's see what it has the platform class has a dimensional array which is the, the matrix of boxes of empty boxes and it has an x and y position a box dimension which is 30 pixels and a color default is white we set the parameters here and we do a uh, generate a new platform we create a platform which uh, some amount of boxes and we are going to get that um, that amount of boxes using the canvas width with which, which is 600 divided by the dimension that is going to give us the amount of boxes that we need and we are going to set them as null null means an empty box and the show function yeah, what it does is to search for each row of the platform and then for each box of the platform and it is going to ask if it's null we are going to show an empty box which is the white box that we we can see here if not 
we do this. We show the box itself. Uh, and also, well, this is what is doing that this is this is working as it is. Okay, but we need to place the pieces when they go to the bottom of the canvas. So let's do this. Here we want to make before generating the new piece we need that our platform place the piece sorry platform that place piece our piece we need to put it inside the platform let's see how this works okay here the problem is that this is going to be uh, undefined because the piece is going outside the height of the canvas so that is generating a number which is not valid for the platform because we access the elements of the platform as a an, as an normal matrix so we need to use our our indexes uh, fine the place piece is doing this we uh, we go for each of the boxes inside the piece and we concatenate them to the, the platform using the y in x position divided by 30 and we put the box there that's why we uh, need to change this I'm going to put minus 30 this is a hackish, we need to <laughs> change this later because that's not what we want, but uh, it is going to help us um, to test this. Okay, so this is working. I think it's working fine. So let's see what, what it happens when we comment the platform that show. It should look better. Let's see okay we are not seeing uh, how the pieces are uh, inside the platform that's important we need to put it again and then we are going to change it let's see this is going to be working Okay, something we need to do now is this. We need to do the collision of the pieces, but that's uh, that's like the one of the most complicated things with this project. So I'm going to let it for the next video just to explain that. And um, but yes, now we have something else in our game, and we can con can continue with the collisions later. So thanks for watching, please subscribe, sorry for not uh, being uploading so much videos, but I was busy with the university and the, wor and the work, but I am going to try to upload uh, more videos this year. So let's, uh, let's see us later, and thanks for watching.